Today we're having an example on the linear function that we talked about in the previous video. So here is the problem. Graph uh, the function of x and we need to know the domain, the range and the monotonicity of the function. So here are the axes and this is the function. So this is a linear function because it contains a variable x raised to the power of 1, so it's a first degree function. This is the case in the interval from 0 to 3. Then we have fx equals 6. This is a constant function in the interval from 3 to 5. Then f of x equals 21 minus 3x in the interval 5 to 7. So first, the domain of the function is where the x belongs. So we will note that all these intervals are connected. So the domain is beginning from 0, including the 0, to 7, including the 7. Then the range. So in order to know the range, we have to grab the function because the range is where the y belongs or where f of x belongs. So beginning with the first part between 0 and 3. So at x equals 0, here f of x equals 2 multiplied by 0 equals a 0, so this is where our function begins. Then at 3, here, at that point, f of x equals 6. So, this is the second point, and this is the first part of the function. It goes linear. So this is the first part. From 3 to 5 it's a constant function. So we will have a horizontal line like that. Then beginning from 5 to 7 we have f of x equals 21 negative 3x. So at x equals 5 21 negative 3 times 5, which is 15, so 21 negative 15 is 6, so it's a 6. Then at 7, it's 21 negative 3 times 7, which is 21 negative 21, so it gives a 0. So this is the shape of our function. From this, we can deduce the range, so this is the range of the function from 6 to 0. So the range of the function is this interval. Then the monotonicity, the parts where the function increases or decreases or stays constant. So on the interval from 0 to 3, where 3 is not included, the function increases. It's increasing as we can notice, then it stays constant on the interval of 3 to 5, and 5 is not included, the function is constant. And finally, from the interval beginning from 5 and ending by 7, the function is decreasing. So I hope it was clear, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.